Well, I we made it in one piece. Driving in was sketchy as shit. This snow is unreal. So freaking deep. What's going on YouTube? It is Luke Waters back again with another YouTube video. And as you can tell from outside, it is a complete snowstorm where I'm at. It snowed anywhere from five to nine inches last night, and we're gonna see how this Buick does in the snow because we're gonna go to local car wash where I have some shelter where I can install this new rear view mirror because my other one is completely toast, the auto tint fried, and I can't see anything out of it, and I really need to change that because it's dangerous to drive. So I'm picking the snowiest day of the year to change it. And obviously I can't use my garage because the G8 is stuck with the suspension tour part. So yeah, we're gonna see how the uh, Regal GS does in the snow. I'm not gonna vlog and drive because I think it's really, really dangerous and I don't really promote that. Let's just see if we can get out of this rut I'm stuck in. Uh... Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. And we're free. <laughs> well, I we made it in one piece. Driving in was sketchy as shit. <laughs> it is unbelievably slippery out here and definitely snow covered nice little mountain right there i didn't want to hold it around for too long uh the 4t 65e transmission is complete junk in these cars but we got it in the wash bay so like i said the reason why i bought it here is because my rear view mirror is completely toast I literally can't see anything out of it and it's really dangerous to drive, so I'm gonna swap that out real quick. And to swap it out, it's pretty easy. Just pop this guy up right here and you're gonna have two to, ew, what the heck? Ew. And of course, the one time I can really use my impact for something, I forget it. I don't know what all that stuff is in there. It's freaking disgusting. Next, pop up this guy with a screwdriver. Actually, we could probably leave that on. I think the next thing we do is just rip the door panel off. The screwdriver I need. The screw right here. Pop right off, there we go. Not quite sure what that plastic was from, but uh, as you can see, we got the review mirror exposed. Take a flathead screwdriver, get this connection loose. This one, can I just one hand? I need a cameraman so bad. Okay, next grab your 10 millimeter. There's three screws right here. Just take those off. Don't beat your door panel too hard. Okay, out with the old. This is, I've really been doing this for like five minutes. All right, new rear view mirror is in and looking good. It's got to reinstall this right here. Take your black screw that you took out of this hole and put that back in first. It'll go in just fine. Then put in, then you want to put in your two 10 millimeter nuts and then bam, car's back together, ready to be back on the road. Voila, look at that. I can see so many things in the road now. Now, I did get this rear view mirror out of a Buick Century. I'm curious to see if the wiring is the same and the rear view mirror will move with the control. So let's find out. Oh, it's chilly outside. Let's get this heater on. Get this bad boy fired up. Need gas too. Okay. See if the new controls work. They work. All right, cool. Heck yeah, dude. I can see the whole world again. Very, very exciting. I'm gonna head home to finish up this video and talk to you guys if the Regal GS is a good daily winter car. We'll see you guys back in the garage. So, like I said, we're back at the house. I plan on making more videos of me out driving uh, in the snow with the Regal, but number one, my phone was dying. I didn't realize it was at 5%. And number two, the roads really weren't bad and there wasn't too many parking lots that had snow left in them. I wanna do some snow donuts and do some fun stuff in the snow, but it looks like I missed my opportunity for that. Now I mentioned back at the car wash, I wanted to talk about how the Regal does in the winter and just all around daily driving. It is the most fantastic daily driver I could ever recommend. So for those of you who don't know, the 3800 is an iron block engine. So there's a lot of weight that sits between the front axles and you can get traction anywhere. Like coming through the neighborhood, 
there's some spots where the snow is like eight inches deep and I plowed right through it, no problem. So if you want to get a W body for daily driving, I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. And it gets like 33 miles per gallon. So I might just keep the Regal and sell the G8. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with these cars. But let's talk about the Regal for a little bit and why I haven't been making any videos of it, like at all. Like I said, I was going to start fixing it up and making it nicer. Well, the G8 kind of took its place for a minute. Turns out the G8 needs a lot more suspension work than I thought it did. So I've been putting more money and more attention into getting the G8 100% ready to basically just drive down the road. And with the Regal, it doesn't need a whole lot. It just needs like new tires, window motor and regulator. It needs a new colder intake because the one I have on it is basically just junk and trash. I think I have some parts to make a better one here. I just haven't got around to it. And man, I'm just, it's the weather, guys. It's hard for me to make car videos when the weather's just been so crap. And me working outside, I hate being outside on the weekends and on my free time. I like being inside, I like being warm and just trying to do videos of doing stuff, obviously outside driving my cars, it's kind of hard to do. That and there's not a whole lot of interesting stuff. Like I don't want to bore you guys with just constant update videos and just me walking around my garage. Like I want to be out doing things but I can't really do that until the summer, especially with the Caprice being in my parents' house. It really sucks too, because I can't do anything with the Caprice. It's getting new tires as well with my tax returns, so there'll be some content with the Caprice coming out. Like I said, for now, I'm just kind of hanging out in my garage and doing some updates and obviously doing some small stuff here and there to the Pontiac G8, but yeah, short little video for today. Uh, I haven't made a video all week. Really sorry about that. I've been trying to post more often, but uh, there's nothing going on, man. I'm just waiting on parts. It's been a very, very boring few weeks around here, and uh, just trying to keep content to this channel. If you guys have any recommendations or things you want to see on this channel, please let me know in the comment sections down below. As always, it's been Luke Waters. And by the way, guys, stay safe. Uh, the roads are really crap. There's uh, supposed to be like six to eight inches of more snow coming in the next two days, so there's going to be a lot, a lot of snow. Maybe if I get out early enough during the next snowstorm, I'll kind of do some with the Buick and some parking lots and do some fun donuts and burnouts and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting that using a car wash to change out the rearview mirror worked out so well. I'm kind of glad it did. But as always, it's been Luke Waters, and I'll see you guys in the next video.